In this video, we're going to have a look at how to calculate the gradient of a straight line from a graph. So to calculate the gradient, we can either use the formula of gradient equals rise over run, or gradient equals my y2 minus y1 value over my x2 minus x1 value. For the first formula, we can use when you're calculating the gradient off of a graph. For the second formula, where we have our two lots of points, we can use when we're calculating the gradient of a graph from a table of values or just from two sets of points provided to us. Now, when we're calculating the gradient, we are calculating the slope of a line. When the line is sloping upwards, then the gradient is going to be positive and the value of the gradient will be a positive number. When the line is sloping downwards, then the gradient is going to be a negative gradient and our value of the gradient will be a negative number. So let's have a look at an example calculation to calculate the gradient of a straight line. So in this example, we have a straight line and we want to calculate its gradient. So first I'm going to calculate the gradient using the formula gradient equals rise over run. And to do that, I need to use the graph to determine what is the rise and what is the run. So my first step in doing that is selecting two points along my line. And I'm looking at how many squares I've got to move up or down and how many squares I've got to move over to move between the two points. So looking at moving up or down and to begin with, I'm going to need to move one, two, three. So to start with, my rise is going to be moving down three, which is going to be negative three. And then my run is going to be how many I have to move over to move between my two points. So one, two. So I'm going to move over two. So my run is going to be two. So the gradient of my line is going to be negative 3 over 2. So my second option of calculating the gradient would have been using the second formula. Gradient equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now to use that formula, I need to be able to identify two sets of coordinates from the line. So using the same two points, my coordinates are going to be negative 4 and 0 is my first set, negative 2 and 3 is my second set. So I'm going to rewrite these underneath my graph. And I'm going to label them x1, y1, x2, y2. And now I can go ahead and complete my formula by substituting in my x and y values that I've just labelled. So y2 minus y1 is going to be negative 3 minus 0. x2 minus x1 is going to be negative 2 minus negative 4. So that's going to equal to negative 3 minus 0 is negative 3. Negative 2 minus negative 4 becomes negative 2 plus 4. So that's going to equal to 2. So the gradient of the line using my second formula is negative 3 over 2. So you see that there is no difference in which formula I use. I will get the same result, which is the gradient of the line. Now you also note that this line is sloping downwards, which means my gradient will be a negative. And we can see that both of our gradients have been worked out as negative. So that is an example of how we calculate the gradient of a linear line from a graph.